Well, good evening, it's Kickstarter Radio 102.4. I'm your host, Loopstick Paddy, and today we're looking at Aegis Combining Robots Season 2. Well, this is the second edition of the game, pretty much. Yep. There's lots of look out of this, actually, if you like uh, skirmish games and uh, robots, and you can combine these robots into bigger robots, and you can combine all your robots into a giant robot. Wow. Anyhow, it was originally a Kickstarter. I want to say five years ago, so um, there is an update pack for first edition peeps here. Yep, some rebalancing of robots and uh, squeaking of the rule book. It's like a 1.5 edition rule book, basically. Um, but before we get started on this, just remind you of our sister channel. If you like PC gaming, uh, please visit our sister channel where we are doing one minute reviews of um, reviews that we did on the channel so you can get very quick reviews of video games and we do a long form format of those that we cover on our speed reviews and we've got a couple of let's plays on the channel too just give it a bit mention that i do pc gaming too link will also be in the description for pc gamer radio anyhow ages Ooh, yeah some good stuff here i've got a few rumbles i'd like to see and all that good stuff let's go <laughs> As normal, it's blasted for its goal. There's a lot of people coming in from second, from first edition, of course. It says one to six. The solo mode, um, I don't know why they just don't put that into a two player mode. So you, you've got co op because there's no kind of full co op in here. Although there is like a boss that you can fight. That you can go on, but they're kind of hinting that maybe third edition will be a co-op based. And if it's going to be a third edition co-op, it's going to be a campaign in my my uh, what I potentially it could be. But perhaps this campaign is green lighting that third season to keep going because um, you know it's kind of bringing it, refreshing it on here. Anyhow, let's let's have a look then down the page. Now, so you can get season one. Season one is not recommended if you're coming here for new. If you come in here for new, you're probably going to want to have the Ages second edition. And the reason for that is because, number one, it has boss battles. Number two, it has this new mode, which is this star mode something. Yep, the game has a lot of... Um, thematic naming conventions going on here so you'll probably forget what they're called but start we'll, we'll learn about it as we go down the page um because your army is going to be five robots a e g i s they can combine to get bigger and i think one of my biggest complaints about it is that when you join a and e the standee doesn't get any bigger i mean when you get ages and you create the giant mech you should have a big fecking standee for that shouldn't you i mean come on if if i combine ages and i'm one big ogre in the middle here trying to fight you it's re represented by a little standee it makes no sense at all and if you if you're pushing theme in all these cards and abilities why are you losing theme by having miss um non-scaled um standees and you know there probably are some standees that are large some standees that are fat some standees that are this shape this side and the other but here you kind of all making sure they fit inside this um you know little standee shape that you've got and uh, i'm not a fan of it and to be frank, I don't know why... Um, I, I know you, you can't do miniatures. There's a hundred mechs in here. But um, could you not have done acrylic miniatures? And um, at least acrylic um, looks better, doesn't it? And uh, I, I just... I don't know. I, that, that for me is one thing. I'd, I'd like to see different shapes... Um, that actually looked scale wise on the map and I wish that they had bigger standees for the upgrades when you combine letters and certainly 
when you have the, uh, you know, you've made the ages mega mech that you've just created, that should look massive. And uh, as is, it doesn't. It kind of rests on its laurels from its first season. And um, that's my wish. Now, there is going to be a 30-day campaign, so hopefully there's going to be some updates and some surprises coming out. Because it does say that there's going to be a lot of content released on this Kickstarter, so this is definitely one to keep an eye out for. One thing that everybody's kind of waiting for is more bosses to be revealed. There's only one mentioned, and uh, bosses need its own update, really, and all that good stuff. Um, yeah, and some of the art has been redone for the season one, but yeah, it's quite juicy, actually. So, you know, second edition, you're getting 100 mechs. Do you really want to combine it with season one? That's going to get another 100 mechs. Get 200 mechs. Oh, my God. This is getting too big, isn't it? <laughs> you just got insane replayability if you do that. And, you know, if I'm going... I don't want two boxes. Can you not do a big box? Right? If I'm getting second edition... Uh, if I'm getting Season 2 and Season 1, can you not just make a big Season 1 and Season 2 big box for ages? I don't, I don't know. Anyhow, let's uh, get out of That's just me theory crafting. It's mainly played two player. You can do team versus team, um, but if it's two player, it's like a 30 minute match. And if you've got any gateway people at the table you can give them a pre-made army which will get them into the battle quick that makes it a 30 minute game but if you give people the whole deck to deck build their team then you might add another 20 minutes or so i, I think this 120 minutes is six people deck building that <laughs> it's still going to be fairly quick but the deck building is going to be longer and of course, if the deck building part of the game is fascinating, you're going to want another 100 card deck to deck build from, then you get season one. You know? And it's very compelling, actually, to get the two seasons here, because if you look, I love deck building, I love this army creation that's going on here. It looks delicious. Something I've not seen from 2nd edition is Commanders. So I want to see if it's on the page, because in the first season, there were Commanders that made your team more asynchronous. So even if you played the pre-play, pre-made army, you could put in a Commander, which would make them different maybe than, uh, than another one. The Commander would basically jump into the mech, is how that would work. Anyway, let's rock and roll. So yeah, the solo mode is basically against the boss. Boss will be knocking out loads of min miniature minis, um, loads of alts, Alt ads. There we go. <laughs> loads of ads might come out, so you're not just going to be facing one boss. There are potentially going to be lots of ads coming in to keep you busy. Right, so your team, you're going to have an Assault one, it's going to be fantastic for firepower, evasive, um, going to be good for dodging, guard, high armor, intelligence, what are you doing, intel, and support, so maybe repair, and you can kind of combine these up as you go. So yeah, if you put A and E together, you can see the robot gets bigger. Make the standee bigger. If you make A, E, S, make the standee bigger. This is why um, um, acrylic standees would look immense in this game. They really would look cool. You know, even if you only did acrylic mechs for the big Aegis mechs or the, uh, you know, you, didn't, you maybe don't need acrylic for the hundred, but as soon as you kind of combine them to go bigger, 
Then it kind of upgrades to an acrylic size where it's even bigger. That would be kind of so cool. Um, yeah, so basically you, the team that you draft, um, that's going to have energy, total energy. And you'll be spending that energy by moving and uh, firing. Combat is dice rolling. And um, and that's basically it. It's like a skirmish where you're going around and you're dice rolling. I mean, for me, the skirmish game that I love is um, the battle... <laughs> battle... <laughs> what is it called? Battle something from Fantasy Flight where you got fantasy things. Do you know what this is? It's like this is like a little a quiz, isn't it? It's like fantasy. Is it Battle Law Second Edition? <laughs> yeah, because what makes Battle Law that great is that you, as a commander, you've got your own deck, and I think that would this game really could spice up the combat if you had a commander deck that actually let your commander do stuff in the field. Because I think it does need that element of spice, because instead of just dice rolling combat, if you also had a deck of cards with abilities, that would be great, wouldn't it? Because the commander, for example, could, um, I don't know, massively overcharge an enemy, or sorry, overcharge one of his people that's going to get killed and maybe put a shield around them so they, they can, uh, I, don't, I don't know, nullify an attack or something, or, you know, oh, I've got pulled a card out which is going to make this character do double damage. Oh, this is going to be so good because it, it would add so much more unpredictability. And I think it does need a commander deck, in my opinion, to spice up the combat. And I think it would be delicious if they had a commander deck to uh, add more unpredictability right star point arena that's the mode that's a people that which is in the second edition all right so, so everything does combine in and all that stuff you you do have um cards that are with a certain faction and um you can't mix the faction cards, but there is a lot of uh, generic um, factions, so you can you can everybody can use those. And um, so yeah, you're not potentially building a deck from a hundred. You, you, there's like a you have to pull some away from the faction that you are and stuff like this. Rulebook has been cleaned up, of course. Rules are trimmed. Yes, it's basically a really is a second edition. Yeah, because one of the big, big criticisms of the first game is you you can combine to make this massive mech, but if one of your mechs gets destroyed, you can't combine it. Oh dear! Um, yeah, it's pretty sad, that is it? <laughs> it? It would be cool if the support could actually drag the corpses back to the base and, and uh, if, if it did that then uh, you could combine into the big one. Give, give more interest, I guess, to the support. If, if you could pull, pull down mechs away and stuff, I don't know. Anyway, so here's the, the boss mode that's coming in. Why is Starport Arena good? Oh, um, when you die, you are going to be... You're going to come back, basically. You'll respawn. It's like a king of the hill. You're trying to control parts on the map. It's kind of like battles. Battle zone. I can't remember the name of this game. It's been a while since I've played the Fancy Flight Skirmish game. Anyway. Let's rock on down. So 59 robots have unlocked. Um, well, it had a hundred in, in the first, first game. Um, factions and stuff like this. You, you see, putting them together, you're not getting any big things. That's what worries me. Ah, okay, we've got two bosses so far. They do have their own AI deck. 
The decks as well, for example, the bosses there's like this generic deck for the boss. You kind of, I think it's, you pick 10 cards of the, or oh, five cards, whatever it is, I can't remember what it is. You, you pick a selection of the AI deck and you add two cards from this boss into that deck. And I wish these bosses had more deck, more cards. Like just adding two boss cards in the AI deck, should they not have more cards? I don't, I don't know. Yeah, anyway. Board-wise, looking delicious. You've got this giant board, smaller boards, and uh, if you get the first season, then you get another two boards, don't you? Um, these cards are kind of nice. They're a bit simple, aren't they? These tokens are going to be putting damage on your robot cards and status effects and all this stuff. Dice are quite interesting though. They do have this razor edge to them, don't they? I mean, should they not be rounded dice? Should that not be an upgrade? Um, it is for me. And the insert tray, which in my opinion needs to have bigger standing. Bigger, bigger, bigger. We need bigger ones. It's true. And it will hold sleeves, so yeah, nice. So second edition, not bad, 59. If you've got the first edition, you can get 79 because you get the upgrade pack. But if you come in here new and uh, include second edition, unlocked, season two scenario book, the player mat, and extra dice, that's your 99. If you want everything from first edition, it's 149. Now, can you not go 59, ignore the extra dice and the mat, and just add it on? Is that possible? Yes. Yes, it is. So you could do 59, second edition. 59, season one. That's going to put you up to about 118. And then you are... A player, a six player mat. Wow, six player mats. <laughs> yeah, you're getting these scenario books. Are you not getting the scenario book if you uh, if you get these on the own? Is that like a new thing? It is. It's a new thing. <laughs> All right, that's quite compelling, isn't it? So you're getting 20 scenarios that you can uh, you can you can go through, and it has the dates. There is interesting. Season one archives, season two archives. So that's kind of nice, isn't it, to have? And um, a huge neoprene playmat that looks delicious, doesn't it? And of course, extra dice if you've got extra people around the table. Hmm. So that 141 is looking compelling. Isn't it? If you, if you really want to get into this. Now, ultra add ons are sold out. Create your own commander. How about an add on? A commander deck. So you can fire powers off it, as an un adding more unpredictability. Now, they've got this Pocket Paragons on here. It's not done by the team. It's just a bonus add-on, and it's like a travel game. Um, yes, that's just been buckled onto this thing here. Not really looking at that. Now, funnily enough, $40 maximum shipping to Worldwide is great, isn't it? Isn't it? That's not bad. <laughs> Alright, stretch goals are coming then. So they are pushing out new robots. They are talking about commanders here. We're not even mentioned commanders. Let me just go up. Did I overlook it? I'm, I'm saying too much stuff in my head here going on. So they've, this is the second edition. Right. Um, does, just mentioning the fact 
factions. Doesn't mention commanders, does it? No, it doesn't. So is this commander... <laughs> is this commander in the stretch goal the first one for season two? And um, hopefully this will get big so we get an, an extra five commanders so we can at least get equal to the season one. I think it should do that. And uh, th these stretch goals are fairly small, aren't they? Only needing 18k. We'll see. It's kind of a bit of a niche game. First it's skirmish. Second it's mech combat. Third it's just dice combat. So it can be lucky. There is that. Could be spiced up with a card deck though from a commander. That's where I think its greatest need is for adding more unpredictability to the round. The story. Oh. Are these, the, do these have a deck? They're not mentioning this as a deck. <laughs> Again, they've got quite a lot to kind of talk about on the campaign. Now the campaign will be linked in the uh, comments, of, in the uh, you know description here, and you might want to watch this video. It's, people will be even asking for the lyrics in the comments about this. <laughs> um, so here we go. It's season two of Ages Mech Game, and it has a boss fight in here and the new King of the Hill mode. So there's more game modes to play. Solo mode includes inclusive also. Things I don't like, the standees, they aren't different in scale. I definitely would like to see bigger ones if you combine two robots, that standee should grow bigger. And if you combine all five standees, you should have a mega standee. And it would be great if they were acrylic big ones that you could put out there. That would be look fantastic because you've got an ogre in, in the middle of the map. Um, it is tactical though, there is there is terrain that you're putting out on the maps and stuff, you've got to kind of um, st strategize moving around things and all that stuff, it is a tactical skirmish you might say. And um, the other thing I'd like to see is a commander deck, where each commander had their own deck um, that they could fire and uh, add more spice to the battle because at the minute it's just dice chucking in combat and that's what battle lore second edition what makes it so great is that magic deck and i think the commander deck should be a thing here i think it should learn from what battle law has done because you know if you if you're in a genre you should kind of learn from your peers and i think battle lore second edition the deck in that game makes it makes that game like if you take that deck away, it's it's just nowhere, nowhere as spicy. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, is that going to be too much to ask for a uh, commander deck to uh, make it such randomness comes out of here? I don't know. Anyway, yeah, like to see then upgraded standees, bigger standees, maybe acrylic standees, and a commander deck. I'd like to know. I like them to talk about the standees, the commanders here, and see what kind of differences they have because they add asynchronous setup and um, all that stuff. So there's a, and we need to know about the bosses. There are more bosses coming out? What does a standee for the boss look like? That should be that should be a acrylic, right? If you've got a boss, for goodness sake, and they're just keeping them the same size, it's kind of I don't know. It it, it almost is putting the brakes on backing it for me. You know, it's, it's like the nail in the coffin that the standees don't get bigger. And certainly you've got boss, you've got boss standees and they're the same size, aren't they? So will they address that in the campaign? I'm, I'm pretty sure it needs to get bigger if it's gonna do anything delicious like that. And come on, as an add-on, like, are you kidding me? Everyone's gonna add that on. Yeah. Acrylic standees for the bosses and the Aegis um, crafted. When you craft Aegis, you get a big acrylic mech pop out. 
that's what would be really good. But anyway, it is looking interesting. It has promise, but it needs to do a little bit more polishing around the Kickstarter um, campaign in my eyes. So almost there, not quite, is looking interesting, but yeah, could be improving on second edition by giving bigger stuff is what I think. Not just giving more robots, but actually making it look different on the table. Hmm. Anyway, you've heard my thoughts. Let me know your thoughts down below, of course. Give the video a thumbs up if you, uh, if you want to help the channel and all that stuff. And if you like this editorial of Kickstarter projects, think about subscribing, of course. Now then, if you do like PC gaming, check my sister channel out. <laughs> I mentioned it at the beginning, didn't I? I'll leave it at that. Thank you so much for watching. I've been your host, Lipstick Paddy. This is Kickstarter Radio 102.4. You take care, stay safe, and bye-bye for now. <laughs>